In this video, we will look at Web 15 number two. It's a good representative example of using um, implicit derivatives here. And I'll show you some tricks how to do these easier. So the idea is we have a cardioid, which looks like a heart, right? So cardiac cardioid. And we want to know the slope of the tangent line that goes to that point, which for me is 0, 0,5. The 0.5, I think, is different for different people, but just that point there. Obviously, it's a positive slope. It doesn't look very steep, but we don't know if this is the scale. Okay, so that's the goal. So the equation for this thing, you scroll down here. Um, the equation for this thing is, is this um, x squared plus y. So this is horrible thing, right? So we have to do this implicitly. There's no way you can solve for y and take the derivative explicitly. We have to do it implicitly, okay? And then we want it at 0, 0,5. So we want it at the point x equals 0, y is 0.5. At least I do. Um, your numbers might be slightly different, and then I have these twos there, so your numbers might be slightly different. Okay, let's dive in, and we want to take the derivative implicitly. So looking at this, the derivative of 2x, of x squared is 2x. The derivative of y squared is 2y times y prime, so plus 2y times y prime, equals, this is something squared, so it's 2 times that to the 1, so 2 times all that stuff, 2x squared plus 2y squared minus x to the 1, we don't need to write 1, times the derivative of what's inside, there's going to be three things in that, so I'm going to Go to parentheses, right? It's that whole thing times the entire derivative of what's inside. So you have three parts. Derivative of 2x squared is 4x, so 4x. The derivative of 2y squared is 4y times y prime, so plus 4y times y prime. And the derivative of x is 1, so that's just easy. That's just a uh, minus 1 there. So minus one, am I all the way? Yes, I am on there just barely. Okay, um, now I'm gonna turn this off so we can see better. Now, here is the trick. We want y prime. Right away, right away, put in these numbers. They usually give you easy numbers because it's be a mess to have some horrible number. X is zero, y is 0.5. Write them in now, because solving for y prime, we have a y prime here and a y prime there. That'd be a nightmare. But if we plug in x equals 0, and for me it's 0. 0.5, which, you know, it would be nice if it was 1. Maybe you guys have a 1, that'd be even easier. But 0. 0.5 is not bad. Makes the math way easier. Okay, let's plug in x equals 0. Well, that term goes away, so that's 0, because x is 0. This one, y is 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5 times 2 is 1, so that's just plus y prime, right? 2 times 0. 0.5, yeah, is 1, equals 2 times x zero, y is one half again, so 0 0.5, two times 0 0.5 is one times another 0 0.5, so that's just a 0 0.5, minus zero, so that's just 0 0.5, this whole thing in parentheses is just 0.5, hat y squared, yep, that's right, yep, times x is zero, four times y, which is one half, 0 0.5, so that's two, so two, y prime minus 1. Okay, way easier. Now we can do the algebra and solve for y prime. Um, way easier than solving for y prime with this thing. So always do that. As soon as you take it, plug in the numbers, it makes it way easier. Okay, so when I do that, let's see, I get y prime equals 2 times 0.5 is just 1. So that goes away. So over here, I just have 2y prime minus 1. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put the y prime over here, the 1 over there, so I think I just get 1 is equal to y prime. Whoa, that's nice. My slope is 1. So the tangent line is super easy. The x-intercept, the y-intercept is 0.5. The slope is 1. So for me, the line is um, y equals x plus 0.5. Is the y when x equals 0, we get 0.5. Yep, the slope is 1. How easy is that? Um, so the trick here, again, is to plug in numbers so that it makes these a lot easier to do. 
plug in the numbers right away after you take it implicitly. And you got, of course, be really careful with implicit derivatives, which is the whole point of this exercise. Um, okay, good. Hope that helps.